fall in two. There are many apparitions around you. Step forward to choose one. If you choose wisely, then you will be rewarded. If you choose folly, an ill wind will blow. I am your guide, and I must ask you, if you are to fulfill your destiny, in whom should you put your faith? Lucica? Yemi? Or your shadow? Hmm. But first, I'm gonna open up this chest. Ah, just, just, just get that out of the way. Okay, so this is this is kind of hard. It's, you know, you don't put your trust in Luska. She's evil. But then there's Yemi. Let's let's go with the shadow. Wait, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to dispel them? What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Oh, okay, there we go. Huh. Oh, I wonder who that is. Hmm. Oh, it must be Buki. Okay, so you dispel the one that is correct. Okay. Hey, Eden Coral. One here that does. I would have to say. Elko. Oh shit. Oh shit. These guys are No, what are we doing? No. These guys are a lot harder than um the ones in in uh What is the proper name for that one place? Well, in our in our home, it's they are a lot stronger than those ones. What? Let's kick some ass anyway. Okay, that was dumb, but. There we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Another one spawned. Another one spawned. Eh. Help me, Jeebus. Help me, Tom Cruise. Weapon's not that bad, but it's, it's only doing 41 damage. Eh, die. Die. Damn it, die. Okay. Believe in your shadow. She is part of you. It's kind of funny how I'm using the shadow, which uh, Alexine is uh, it's just shadow, right? And we get this orb of wisdom. Na 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 na. Well, we'll use that straight on Tao. He needs it. Actually, now that think about. What just happened? 
I just climbed down the ladder. Full heal! What? Except for Alexi, and she just, she gets the middle finger. Anyway, so, let's make our way into the Citadel. Now, now that I think about it, on the, my other file, uh, the boss, the next boss here, is, like, actually that would be considered a boss right now. But anyway, the next boss is, well, he was kind of difficult. Not difficult, but more uh, long, because I, I couldn't do adequate enough damage. But with Tal's the same way about you, Blade Dan, uh, I can do a shit ton of damage now. Because I didn't have him built exactly like I have now, where I maxed out my power, and in between levels, I gave him essence, mostly. And I wasn't using all my orbs on him either. So, you know, how long have I been recording for? Almost two hours. You know what? I'm going to have to use a lobster wine. There we go. Full health and some SP. I will have to say though, this dun this uh almost called a dungeon, it's not even a dungeon. This area is possibly my favorite. Uh when it comes to all the areas. Okay, let's just call it a dungeon for uh, the sake of, you know making sense. So this dungeon here yeah, I hate calling it a dungeon. Yeah, it's. I'd say it's my favorite area because it's it's neat how they how they did it. And the thingy goes down. Okay. Um, I have no idea how far we're in. Alright, I'm, I'm not going to call any more cuts. I'm just going to cut wherever seems, uh, best. From here on out, anyway. With the exception of, uh, you know, fresh recordings. Because if I'm starting off, I know exactly when I when it's good to cut, and I won't be, I'll be able to like okay, I'm gonna stop it here, guys, and yada yada. So yeah, I may or may not cut after this battle. I'm just letting you guys know that I won't be saying goodbye because I once again fucked up. I just realized something. Oh yeah, I did. Okay, I did everyone. Giggity. I don't really... I wouldn't call these puzzles, now that I think about it. Because it's not so much, you know, a puzzle, it's more like a... Do this. <laughs> so the point of this is to allow Buki, who could easily jump over those gaps. I shit you not, she is the or <laughs> Buki, Nico. I because she can easily jump over those gaps. She's the lightest. Well, I'd say she's the lightest anyway. She is the smallest. But then again, she could be a lot more muscular than Alexine, so let's just say Nico's the lightest anyway. She's also the most agile, and she could easily jump over those. The Tau in that heavy ass armor could jump like 60 feet while carrying. Oh, wait, no. That was Alco who carried the girls. Um, if Tau wearing like 100 pounds of armor could jump 60 feet in the air, 
I think Book or Nico can jump ten or like five feet. <laughs> that and she can climb. Why is it that I can only climb mossy areas? She's going right into the damn concrete. Ah, uh, it's a, it's it's not that well thought through, I suppose. Okay. Puzzle time, puzzle time. It's not really puzzle, but it's puzzle time. Really? Good, so the point of this is... What you want to do is... Well... <laughs> this is another one of those ones that I kind of forget how to do. I think I'm having a... I'm going to call it Portal Syndrome. Uh, you guys may or may not remember how, when it came to Portal, I more or less started failing at it towards the end. And, well... Like... I, I can't say any different. I, I started failing at it. I'd go, you know, I'd do speed runs of like five maps, five courses, and then i just go like all doopy doopy doop at the end. I, I was having so much trouble. But, you know, like I said, I completed one map in like, like 10, 15 seconds. Of course, there was one of the easiest ones to speed run, but it was still like... Just, I knew all of these courses, how to complete them, in and out, except for, like, one. And then the uh, final courses. But it was fun, nevertheless. It was still a good game to play through. I'm not going to be playing through Portal 2. It's just so much harder. And I don't know the maps that well. I think I was, I was legitimately stuck on, like, three of them. Where I needed um, help to complete them. And, you know, I'm really good at puzzle games, and I couldn't figure it out I'll wait. without help. I'm a friend of Cyantine. Don't attack. My name is Cool, and I still serve Capri with all my heart. Forgive my fellow soldiers. They don't understand what they're doing. These troops have become ever more paranoid as the light has faded from our sky. I can help you get into the compound proper by opening the portcullis below. Commander Garen has the vessel of true sight that you seek, but be warned. He believes Eskilia is behind the plague of monsters that we've had, and he's determined to exempt what he sees as his revenge. What do you mean? Garen has been trying to create magical hybrid creatures to train and use against Eskilia and Sandine. There are several of these monstrosities in the fortress. Garen will not hesitate to use them. You have been warned. You can use that lever over there to open up the portcullis into the outer Bailey courtyard. Seek out Carlos the veteran in the officer's quarters. He still remembers a time before the darkness. And he'll help you as much as he can. Good luck. Yeah, these, um... These monsters that he's talking about are the upgraded forms of the grotesques, or uh, whatever they're called. Well, I mean, that's like the the base level it, uh, of these monsters is a gro grotesque. But these ones are like called horrors, I think. I, I don't know. I don't really remember the names too too well. But basically, the, these guys are like the super badass versions of them. 